For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We begin tonight with breaking news following multiple new wildfires. A record heat wave is fueling devastating wildfires across much of the southern Mediterranean and eastern Europe. The wildfire emergency, California's Dixie Fire exploding again overnight. The Caldor Fire has been raging in California for over a week and has burned more than 120,000 acres. 43,000 Californians had to be evacuated because of the fire, which was fueled by dry vegetation and warm winds. More than 1,200 structures have been destroyed, and approximately 16,000 structures remain threatened. The fire is one of 11 active blazes in the state. The devastating Dixie Fire, which began in July, already burned 735,000 acres in the northern part of the state. Similar wildfires were observed in several countries of the Mediterranean region a few weeks back. Wildfires charged by protracted heat waves and strengthening winds had spread extensively throughout the Mediterranean region. Hundreds of fires raged from Algeria to Palestine. The fires had caused serious damage to forests, wildlife, people, and infrastructure. The blaze in Turkey, which started in the Manavgat and Antalya region, quickly spread to other areas of the country. While in Greece, fires raged in the outskirts of Athens, the southern Peloponnese region, Evia, and several Aegean islands. In Algeria, more than 90 people were killed by the fires. So what is behind these devastating fires? Extreme weather conditions characterized by a historic rise in temperature and dryness in the region has resulted in the extensive spreading of these type of wildfires. The extent and pace of the current spread is being regarded as the worst in the recent history of the Mediterranean region. Preliminary studies suggest that the drastic changes in climatic patterns have led to this catastrophe across the world. A report prepared by 234 scientists from 66 countries and based on more than a thousand scientific studies conducted across the world was published by the United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change, IPCC, on August 9th. It concluded that the world cannot avoid the devastating consequences of climate change as its pace has now reached an unprecedented level. The report mentions that there is still a window of opportunity to avoid some aspects of the predicted devastation. But this will require political will to drive a global collective effort to take immediate actions to cut global emissions. According to the report, the world has already warmed by 1.1 degrees Celsius since the 19th century. Therefore, in spite of any corrective actions now, the existing carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases will keep warming the Earth for the next three decades, even if sharp cuts in global emissions are implemented. This means that natural disasters, excessive rains and flooding in some parts, droughts, heat waves and wildfires in others will continue. Melting ice in the Arctic and Antarctic regions will continue for at least a century and sea levels will keep on rising for the next 2,000 years. If the world fails to take immediate action by the year 2100, the global temperature would be three to five degrees Celsius higher than the pre-industrial phase, with catastrophic consequences for the Earth and its residents. If we take radical measures now and cut global emissions, the rise in the global temperature could be restricted to 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2050 or even below that level. However, if we fail to take the necessary measures, the rise in the temperature could cross 1.5 degrees Celsius by 2030, a decade earlier than the IPCC's previous prediction of a similar rise by 2040. That's all we have time for, and keep watching People's Dispatch.